Hi everyone! Today we'll be exploring the field of endocrinology. For those who are not aware, endocrinologists are specialists in the endocrine system and can help diagnose, treat, and regulate the illnesses that occur due to body hormones, hormonal glands, and other related tissues. They often deal with the metabolism and other biochemical processes that occur within your body. Patients can be referred to an endocrinologist for a variety of reasons, such as diabetes management, issues with the thyroid gland, cancer, adrenal disorders, and many more. Today, instead of exploring what a typical day in the life of an endocrinologist is, we will be explaining some procedures that are commonly performed, so let's get into it. Many of the procedures are performed to manage hormonal conditions. A patient's diet may be altered by weight loss treatment and nutrition education. Medications can be administered to patients for hormonal therapy, replacement, and blockers. For example, we have the feminizing hormonal therapy, which is also known as a gender-affirming hormone therapy. This is used to alter your hormone levels to match your gender identity. In this treatment, medication is used to block the action of the hormone testosterone. Estrogen will also be given to reduce testosterone production and induce female secondary sex characteristics. We also have the masculinizing hormone therapy, which is used to induce physical changes in one's body caused by male hormones during puberty. Testosterone medication is given to the patient to stop the menstrual cycle and decrease the production of estrogen from the ovaries. If the treatment is started before puberty, female secondary sex characteristics can be avoided. Often, endocrinologists can refer a patient for particular surgeries, such as the adrenalectomy. Adrenalectomy is a surgery that is performed to remove one or both adrenal glands. You may require the surgery to remove an adrenal gland if the tumor is producing excess hormone or is excessively large in size. We hope that you learned something new about medicine. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram for some additional content on healthcare.